Good afternoon, everybody. This is Joyce. Welcome to my studio. I am in love with this new rust effects paste that I found from Art Extravagance from Prima. In fact, I was so enamored by it that I thought this would be beautiful on one of Susan's milk cans. So I went, I bought it at Michael's. I used my 40% off coupon. And I came home and I used my uh, vintage tin milk can die, which is, you know, pretty significant. You can get these at Elizabeth Craft Designs. And so I cut one out and I thought that I would show you today how I did that. And of course, of course, you don't start any project without Elizabeth Craft Designs soft finish cardstock. This stuff is amazing. It already has texture to it as well. So when you start your project, before you ever put any texture on it, the paper itself is textured. So I thought that I would um, share with you how I achieved this look and also tell you that it's not just for paper. This is an acrylic full body paint, so it has texture to it. And so you can actually paint your, your art as well and make it look rusty. So it doesn't have to be um, just paper. It can be your alterable items as well. And this was just a tin milk can that I found at uh, Hobby Lobby and I made it look old. So that's how that. So now I'm gonna show you how I achieved this and um, show you what I did with it. So this is a birthday card that I made and it has her bucket and her milk can. And you can see that I filled it full of flowers and said a happy birthday. And this card is going to a very dear friend of mine. So Joseph, happy birthday. So let me show you how I achieved this. So the first thing I did was I painted it with Deco Arts Dazzling Metallics paint. So this is a acrylic paint, um, it's this one right here, that I used because this one was a little bit too silver and the other one was just right. So I have a little bit of gesso here and some of the paint. So all I did was I just painted it. It doesn't have to be perfect because remember, and yes, you can paint on cardstock, did you know that? That's why I like this Elizabeth Craft Designs cardstock because it really, really holds up to whatever you're going to put on it. I really like that. And as soon as you put your first layer of paint, you notice that the cardstock is already textured, so you're getting a really good um, texture to your project just to, you know, put a layer of paint on it. So that's all I did with that. And then I'm just gonna let it sit there for just a second while I get my paints, tell you about my paints. Okay, so these rust effects, it's a three-step process. So they give you a brown color, a yellow color, and a red color. And they get successively less gritty. So the brown one is the very, very gritty one. This is the next grit, and then this is very, very fine grit. And I'm gonna show you how I use it. Now I watched a video on this from Prima and and the artist that uh, did the video she dried the paint layers in between but I found that when I did not dry them with my heat gun I actually got a better blend so let me see if I can get that glare off of that for you because yeah, that's really glare okay nope, no there's a shadow all right anyway so you can see how textured this is. This is very, very gritty paste. It's like got sand in it or something. I don't, I don't know, but it's really, really awesome. And so you start out with the brown and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go in the edge of your can and you're gonna just, you know, plop some of that in there. And I know you don't, you're going, oh my gosh, Joyce, I can't believe you're painting over that pretty milk can. But let me tell you something, when it comes at the end, it's gonna be gorgeous. And so all this textured grit and everything that's in this paste is really, really giving this milk can a, an effect that it's been weathered for years, when in reality we just made it, right? So I am just dabbing this on, because remember, this milk can's been sitting out in the wild for a long, long time, and we want it to be pretty much mostly rusty. You could, of course, you could do it, you know, if you wanted a little bit of rust, then you just do right around the edges or in certain spots. So all I'm doing right now is just picking up some of that nice gritty texture that's in that paint and I'm just making sure that I have a lot of the grit because that's what really makes the rust look natural when you put the next layers on. The thing I liked about this too is that it's an acrylic paint so it washes up with water, no problem. It's really easy, you just rinse your brush out and 
you're done. You're ready for the next layer. So the next one that I used was the red. Now the red is a little gritty, but it's not as gritty as the brown. So you see that it's a little more runny and the grit is a little bit finer. And so you don't, you know, have the same uh, amount of texture that you do in the first layer. So what I do is at this point is I just go in and in random spots, just add some of that red and let it mix in with that brown if it wants to. You know, if you put it somewhere and it's over top of that brown and it kind of mixes in, well, good. Because, you know, rust is a process and it, you know, has to work on top of one another. So now I've got some red in there, in different spots. And I'm just kind of mixing. That's why I said I liked the way that the, um, the paint came out you know when I didn't dry it in between each layer because I kind of feel like the red blends in a little bit with that that brown and in some places actually makes a rusty orange color so um, you know I'm gonna do a little bit heavier on this side because I feel like this can maybe was sitting out in the shade somewhere and then this corner right here was maybe buried in the dirt a little bit I don't know but that's kind of how this cans talking to me today All right, now the next one is the yellow. Now the only thing that I'm gonna say about the yellow is that at first I thought, how does that mix in with what I have right there? Now I suppose that you could probably leave it like that if you you know didn't wanna put the yellow in, but I felt that the yellow, when I didn't heat it and it was allowed to mix in with these other colors, I just thought that it looked very, very natural. And so you're just gonna go in and the same thing that you've been doing, you're gonna dab it in here and there, just a little tiny bit. Now you can always tone it down if you don't like how bright it's become, okay? So if you put a little bit in and you don't like it, then, then just tone it down with some more red or some more brown or even mix it together with the two colors that are already there. And you can see how it's starting to really, really give the impression that we have a rusty milk can here, y'all. And then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint and I'm gonna tone this brassy uh, can in here down a little bit just you know just to make it look kind of dirty and old okay so at this point I probably could stop but I felt like in my can that it needed a little bit of green because let's face it if it's been sitting out in the yard and it's allowed to rust, it probably has a little bit of algae on it as well. So I pulled out my Prima uh, Frank Garcia Memory Hardware Powder, and I just took, if I can get it open, oh, my hands aren't working. So that's how it comes out, and this is a highly pigmented powder, and I just took a dry paintbrush, and I mostly use my makeup brushes like this because um, it, it really, is very um, full and I don't get a lot of concentration. Oops, I'm sorry, I hit the camera. I don't get a lot of concentration. Uh, so I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna dab this green in just a couple of places because I want it to be, you know, natural. And then there you have it. There is your rusty milk can. I just think that is so beautiful y'all and you could play with this obviously you could add more here and there but I'm gonna stop because I have a tendency to overdo it if I keep playing with it so I'm gonna call it quits and I'm gonna say please check down below for all the links to both the dies the cardstock and the um, Prima artifacts and I'm gonna show you again what I did with them so just in case you're saying why would I need a rusty milk can well because look how beautiful that is on your cards so I'm gonna say adieu and I hope that you have a great day and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions I'd be happy to get back with you thanks guys bye